Hello. There's two things that I want to change about org mode. Now that we're spending a lot of time in the uh, config.org file, setting packages up and things like that, um, I want to change the stars to be UTF-8 bullets using a package. And I want to be able to select text uh, within those sections using by, by holding shift down and using movement keys. So let's do it. So if we go down here, uh, and we'll go in, I'm going to put this stuff in under UI because I feel as though it's more UI based. Um, so we're going to have a little org mode section here and we're going to have uh, org bullets and then we're also going to have org selection or well we'll do org settings. So org mode bullets. This is basically going to replace these stars with just single character bullets. Um, that are indented by the amount of the where the last star is. So let's do that. So we're gonna we're gonna need to do this in a source block. So Emacs Lisp and source. Um, so we're gonna use package as we do for everything because it's useful. It's a useful package for packages. So org bullets. Um, as always, ensure that it's installed before we do anything. And then all we need to do is add some configuration. Uh, so we're going to add a hook to the uh, org mode hook. So when we open a file in org mode, this hook will be, will be triggers. Lambda. I forgot how to spell lamb then. Uh, and all we're going to do is say org mode bullets mode one. Let's close that up, close that up, close that up. Execute that, and then if we uh, just revert this buffer, uh, yep, there we go. We now have bullets. Um, there aren't really any settings. These these are the bullets that you get. These are the UTF-8 characters that you get. Um, there probably is a way to define it in a in a in a variable, um, but I've never felt the need to. I just, I just like it just makes it a bit cleaner i think um though i have kind of got used to the stars but anyway on with things the other thing that we want to do is currently if i want to uh select so if i want to select this uh source block the normal way that i do it is i'd hold shift down and i just press up but as you can see there at the bottom it says to use shift selection with org mode customize org support shift select um which is what I'm going to do <laughs> because I want to be able to do that. Uh, granted, it won't work on these headings. You won't. You can't. You still can't um, shift select on those headings. But it means that generally we will. Uh, I'll be able to um, support shift. I'll be able to shift select text within there, which is useful when you're dealing with, you know, blocks of code or you know you want to move things around or whatever. Um, so if I execute that, I should now. There we go. Just be able to select. As I could before. If you start your selection outside of the heading, you can select the heading. If you are in the heading, the usual um, functionality uh, takes precedence, which is fine. I can deal with that. If I want to, you know, select this, I can control space and then move around to select it. It's a bit of a hassle, but it's fine. I just, I just really like when I'm working on some of these things. You know, if I was like, oh, okay. I want to move all this somewhere else then it's just easier to select i find it easier um and that's pretty much it for org mode to start off with um it's still really powerful there's still loads more things to do with it but i just thought i'd do this really quick video just to like kind of show that there are org mode packages to do this kind of thing i think it kind of looks nice uh up to you whether you do it um yeah so thank you very much for watching uh, like and subscribe, all those things uh, if you want. Obviously, you don't have to. It's up to you. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye.